Ladies and gentlemen, back today. Yes, back again, back again, back again. Today we have the full release of Manjaro 0.8.2 on a hardware install. Oh yeah, thought why had the machine out? Might as well do a hardware install on this old machine. Yeah, this is the old single core one. Again, yeah, not putting it away till tomorrow. Then back to the old dual core for testing. Anyway, as you can see, it comes with XFCE and it's mighty fast, quick, and installation only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Even on this sort of hardware, super duper. Still a bit CLI-ish, but it's really, really easy to do. You just got to follow the instructions, and everything will be hunky of the dory. As you can see over on the right, we have a bit of conky going down. I've even see what's doing my CPU, which is not a lot really. No, not doing a lot really. The memory's not doing a lot. It's only using 24%, so I can live with that. It's about 240 meg. That's okay, isn't it? After installation, it didn't take hardly anything at all. It's not using any of my home, and I've only used 3.5 gig for the installation on to root, okay? And there's my net, of course. Of course, yes. Up here, we have home, it's your home folder, your file system, and your waste basket. Yeah, waste basket. Rubbish bin, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On our bottom XFCE bar, we have exit, okay. That's the net there. We have the cooler, which was last checked 18 minutes ago. I have some news that's unread, okay? But I won't go into that. And here we have a little clip man thing scan down and there's our time or time and date whichever you want to do we've only got two workspaces for the moment but remember you can have as many as you wish okay and you can store whatever you want it now be remember it's being arch space it's super quick yes yeah, super super quick and the manjaro is based for people who want an easy arch i don't have to go through the full rigmarole of arch installation okay this is all like CL oh, i know i said cli but it's all up front in your face it's easy you ain't got to do too much work to get the xfc stuff working okay I'll go to the menu, we've got Run Program, the Terminal Emulator, File Manager, Mail Reader, and your web browser, which is Firefox, of course, okay? Under Settings, you get all the usual loads and loads of stuff for XFCE, yeah, yeah lovely, jubbly, oh, it's all there. Even Orange is there, I like Orange, you like Orange? I like Orange, yeah. That's alright, Orange, isn't it? And set your firewall, everything you want to do there, same as any XFCE distro that's out there, okay? Lovely. You also get your Settings Manager. It's XFC in it, yeah, it's all here. I think you can configure anything you want to here as well, including your mouse and touchpad, your keyboard, power manager, if you've got a lappy, and your settings editor. So that's all hunky, isn't it? Right, what next? Got all that bit out of the way, yeah. That's boring, that, doesn't it? Okay, what do we get as standard? Well, quite a lot. Bearing in mind it's a gig download, so it's no CD, it's a DVD. But yeah, don't get small DVDs, only four gigs of smallest, isn't they, really? You get 7-zip for unzipping your files, an application finder. An archive manager, catfish for searching your files, a calculator. The HP device manager is already there as standard, okay? You get some sticky notes, or ours global time. Take a screenshot, your sense of view. I'll open up the task manager, even though I've got conky open. And then you can see what's going down, can't you? There you go. It's all there. It's using 24 to 28 in my CPU. Remember, I'm recording at the same time, so that would do. There's a gig of memory here. It's only using about 250. I'm not using any swap whatsoever. Lovely. I'm liking it. We'll quit that. Okay. What do we got next? I hear you say and hear you cry. Okay. Development. Hmm. Hello, development. How are you? Open JDK stuff's in there. And JDK? JDK. I was thinking of a drink, obviously. And a QT assistant, QT designer, and QT linguist. But that's not for learning foreign languages, of course. No. Under graphics, as standard, you do get Gimpage, Simple Scan, and Vue Noir. So I'll open Gimpage up for you. And you can see everything going whoosh over the top. I'm only recording at 15 frames a second. Just because... I'm just doing that actually. It is Gimpy 2.8, but it comes in the three window, not the, the one window, which you'll have to change for yourself, which is no big deal, hard to do. Okay, so that was that out of the way. What next do we hear? Okay. Under internet, as I've already said to you, you will get Firefox, you get Pigeon for your internet messaging, a remote desktop viewer, which is nice. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Skype is standard, Chunderbird and XChat. And you get a server browser and server browser for VNC and SSH for doing your bit of tunneling, if you know what I mean. It will come to that another time, maybe. Right, multimedia. Dead Beef is here. That's a really good player. Very good choice. Don't mind that at all. A PN mixer. Pulse Audio is standard. I do like Pulse Audio. I think I use it and it works no deal. Yeah? It's easy peasy. SM player for playing your SM stuff. Not that you're into an SM or anything like that. XF Burn for burning. That's what it says on the tin. And of course, I've installed GDK Record on my desktop to do the recording because this single core machine wouldn't do very well on double FMPEG. No, it wouldn't. No. It'd really struggle. It'd be horrible. And Office, we get the full LibreOffice suite almost, okay? But you do get all your RR stuff and a PDF viewer and a dictionary, of course. And the system. Loads there. Firewall stuff's here as well. It's something that's been repeated in the other menus, so that's not too bad at all, is it really? No. So I'm going to go to the internet. Okay, we're going up Fox. 
Hello there, Mr. Fox. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? And he opens up, and here is this is the one we've got here, Manjaro 0 0.8.2. Remember, you can now have with it GNOME NKDE if you so wish to do so. I know some people have had problems with the 64 bit version, but I haven't, okay? I'm not saying that this is the 32 bit version, so I wouldn't expect it to, but I've heard some problemos. But on the whole, no big deal. Now, to make it easier for you to install programs, remember Arch would normally be terminal, okay? If we go down to system, so you want to find a package. So if we go to package browser, they've made a GUI for you. Okay, so we'll say we want to search for Asunder, for instance. So I'll type Asunder in. 5521, and there's Asunder. It is in the community repositories. Now, I was hoping we could just like click that and it'll install. It doesn't seem to work like that. Even if I press the start, I'll try that, shall I try that? No, see, it doesn't work like that either. It just gives you, it's just a browser. It doesn't show you or help you install it. So all you would do then, is you close that down, you open up your menu again, go to system. There's probably another way of doing it, but I just haven't got around to doing it. Go to Pac-Man GUI, because Pac-Man is what you would normally use, remember? Oh yeah. Put your password in. Dun, dun, dun. Pac-Man weapon, put the GUI for it. And say you wanted to install a package, for instance, okay? Oh, I've updated the system, by the way. There was nothing to update, to be honest with you, okay? So I want to install a package. You put your name of the package you would like in there. So if I type in a sunder, and we click OK, and it goes and finds it for you. Do I want to go on? Yeah, of course I do. I press Y, and yes, it goes down, done. Right, if you want some other stuff, you will have to in install Lame and Flack, okay? But I'm not going to do that at the moment, because I'm just showing you what it's like, okay? So I'll get rid of that, and get rid of that. And then we go down to Multimedia, for instance, once it decides to open up. I've like this before, you just got to wait a little second for it to get hold of its stuff, okay? But it will do. There we go. There we go, Asunder is there. We click on Asunder, nice, it's all there for us. Remember, for MP3s, you'll have to put lame in, and for flak stuff, put flak in, okay? Yes, but OG should be already supported for you. So that's no big dealage, is it, really? But right, it's still holding on to some CPU for the reason I don't know why, but I'm sure that'll go down in just a second, okay? Anyway, we're not really worried about that, are we? No, of course we're not. So, Mandrara, what do I think of it? Very, very, very good. Yes, even for older systems, if you want a bit of arch and you want to play around with it, it's super of the duper. I like it so much. You know how many I'm going to give it? 97%. Yeah, because I like FCE as well. It's done both boats for me, isn't it? Whew, I'm done. Sneaky Linux out. See you then. Bye-bye.